Uh, how well they're going to do in this game. Yeah, to try uh, to they, match up with They them. shot 4 of 21. 4 of 21 from long range in the main draw. They start on defense, and they're going to have to deal with O'Donnell. Oh, they got the hookup. How if you hear me? Australia. They draw first blood. Quarterfinals under action from Singapore. If you're just joining us, Kyle Montgomery, a.k.a. The Voice, Angelo Tazakarakis, a.k.a. The Czar. That is Blanchfield. He's torching them from long range. I'll give you his numbers in a second, but look at that. China are going to respond. They can do that, too. Blanchfield had 13 points in that win over the Philippines. There's Hickey. He can get buckets as well. He had a triple five against Japan. Both players getting off to good starts here. Lou denied at the door. And a foul called on Hickey. Yeah, swinging too hard on that block attempt. But triple five is impressive, Kyle. Can you, can you remind people what a triple five is so we make sure they understand yes, the it, performance? At least reaching five in uh, any of these statistical categories. Points, rebounds, highlights, blocks, key assists. If you uh, get five or more in any of those categories, you got a triple five. Which would be the equivalent of a triple double in five on five. Yeah, those that are you get a quadruple five. You'd have to have a hell of a game. But Well, how many quadruple fives did we see in the history of this game? You're asking the right man. Just ask him at the wrong time, because I don't have any uh, data in front of me. <laughs> Four, three. Uh, don't worry, we'll get the research team on that. <laughs> Please. I don't think out. there were many, I'll tell you that though. No, no, no. I, I wouldn't be shocked if there weren't. If there yeah, because the thing is, ever one. you have to be so versatile, crazy versatile. I mean, your fingerprints got to be all, all over every part of the game. Here's the rattlesnake looking to strike. Hickey. He, foul red. You know what's interesting? What's that? The fact that the Australian squad, they can kind of mold their game with their opponent. And they're going to pick their times. As you see, they go with ISO mode with Hickey, but they don't do it all game. They're going to give him a few ISO situations. If he has the advantage, they keep pressing on that. And if they don't, then they mix it up, try to find this man or play on the inside. What a luxury it is to have the wealth of talent that the Aussies have and the options that they have. There's Davey. He sets the table for Blanchfield. Blanchfield will put it up. He will miss it. And that is most certainly a foul on Davey. Probably a little frustrated that they couldn't convert that score on the inside two on one. Mizzou is a big man. He's strong. I don't think he has 1% body fat. No, not at all. He's, he's got muscle on his kneecaps. <laughs> <laughs> Minute and a half in, Jan takes his time. And what touch from the Olympian is he will even the game at four piece. Blanchfield drops it off. O'Donnell got his cookies to him. You see, and now Zoo is in Blanchfield's mind because Blanchfield had the layup. He could have shot it over Zoo, but he wanted oh. to pass it. Blanchfield fell asleep defensively, and he just got woke up with a splash of water in his face. I mentioned you. To, uh, I mentioned to you the two-point shooting. They already have two point. Uh, I mean, two daggers to their account. And that's the key because even though China hasn't shot it well, they're capable of shooting it better. And they're doing it this game so far. 4-21 coming out of group play again. Meantime, Hickey getting money like an invoice. He continues to deliver for the Aussies. Speaking of deliveries, there's lose two. 8-5 China challenging the Aussies early. O'Donnell using that size to get the bucket. Australia down by two. Two and a half minutes in. Here's Lou going to work on Hickey. Lou bumping and grinding like a slow jam. I don't see nothing wrong with a little bump and grind. 9-6. Oh, Hickey, unfazed. Mental breakdown defensively <laughs> here, Kyle. Unfazed. You cannot let Hickey by himself like this. But Zoo, aggressive. And I like to see that because Zoo was kind of not passive, but not as strong as he could have been in the in the first round. And now he's responding to the challenge, being matched up with O'Donnell and Australia. It is going to be China ball. Wu starts it from the logo with Davey in defense. 
Jan. Step back with Hickey running up. The shot goes off the iron. O'Donnell has it clear. Davies in the post office. Down to the body shop. Davey cleans up his own mess. Just like that, it's a tie game. Davey, though, got to be a little bit more composed defensively. There's another whistle against the Aussies. Third foul on Australia. Fourth foul, actually. Three on China as we head into our first media timeout. The action is heating up as we start this second session. Australia has been the favorite in every game they've played so far here in Singapore. China come out with a good game plan. And to the credit of the czar, he spoke about one of the keys of this contest is China's ability to knock down twos, and they've done just that. Still, it hasn't gotten them a big lead. We're knotted at nine apiece. Lou tries to loft it in, but O'Donnell is longer than most. Dime time, Blanchfield sets the table for the big fella, and he devours it. Oh, uh -oh. Sue. Lions and tigers and bears, oh my. Blanchfield. Oh, he hits the deck, and uh-oh. China is really upset about that whistle. Well, and it's not going to change anything. I didn't get a good angle on it. Well, I kind of agree with the Chinese here. <laughs> Look at Blanchfield looking over at us. Blanchfield's looking over at us. He said, I think he's full of experience. <laughs> I tell you this. Well, I said, See? I did say he's the Australian George Clooney, so and only fitting that he might pull an acting job on us. Yeah, I think he did. Uh, I, I he, mean, straight up. Did he get away with one there? He got <laughs> away with one for sure. You slick booger, you. <laughs> he's going to knock down the free throw. He did. And you see all four Chinese players just turned around like, oh, no, no. And that I was, understand that frustration right here because I was the one pulling stunts on like that. That was hilarious. Balls. Did you see how he looked at us? Kind of like, <laughs> hey, man. He's like, oh, <laughs> well, I'll take it for sure. Anyway, he capitalized at the stripe. I should mention uh, Blanchfield, the leading scorer in the men's competition coming out of group play, 19 points to lead the way for the Aussies. Kyle, 12-11, not even four minutes played. Oh, this pace is frenetic, electric. Woo. I thought you knew. Can't get a score easy down there. Davey. No. Not on the money. The main, uh, the main thing that I like about this matchup is that both teams so far are doing what they're supposed to do. So that gives us a great game. Entertaining. High scoring. Beautiful. Got a good one. Hickey. ISO, it's Lou's responsibility to stop the rattlesnake. But they rely a little bit too much on that option that hasn't been that efficient for them to keep going at it. Oh, woo, blew a tire or two. I hope we got triple A. I don't really see why they're not going back to trying to get Blanchfield an open look, or now that O'Donnell is back in, some more two-man action with the big man. We'll see if they do get to that action when they get the possession back, which is now. Hickey wants to start things off. Davo is on the bench. So we'll see how the action develops here. Blanchfield, you see, standing underneath the rim. O'Donnell and on the block. I'm, I'm guessing that O'Donnell's going to set a down screen for Blanchfield coming around. Yes, and he's either going to come off shooting or curling and looking for that lob pass to O'Donnell. And there it is. There's a screen from O'Donnell, and Jan is forced to grab Blanchfield coming around. Looks like they're going to set up with the exact same play here. Oh, don't get away from something that works. Okay, so do you switch? No, he comes around. Okay, gets Blanchfield. O'Donnell comes out and screens. That's where they try to run the pick and roll. Blanchfield, he's got the green light. He does not have a green release. Not that time. Hickey oh. getting faded like he's in a barber's chair. He might need a barber, actually. <laughs> he's, he's as scruffy as I am. He out here looking like men from the wilderness. He's scruffy or crikey. <laughs> crikey. Oh, faker. Nice fake. Did, didn't get the make. O'Donnell's there. 
three-point game. Lou for two. No, O'Donnell snags that rebound with one hand. O'Donnell to Blanchfield. Blanchfield steps through, hanging, missing. O'Donnell keeps it alive over to Blanchfield. He's shooting like 007. Bang, bang. There you go. Oh, take that <laughs> trash out. Oh, defense leads to offense just like that. The Aussies are having some fun. Oh, but don't have too much. That stops the bleeding. The Lou too. Blanchfield, I think, actually fouled that time. Yeah, this time around, <laughs> he did. But on the previous one, the previous foul that he kind of sold, at the, at the end of the day, he did make contact on his own teammate's leg with O'Donnell. So the moment he felt the contact, he let himself drop because you're trying to prevent injury at all costs. But look at that pace. That defense turned to offense like that. Australia taking advantage and only to see China respond with the two themselves. You're right, this pace has been crazy. And the that defensive stop from Hickey and that block was the turning point of this game for Australia to pull away probably for good. The reason is you're getting a three-point differential. Not only did China did not score that layup, which would have been plus one for China, but you're scoring a two-point fast break dagger in the corner right after. So you score two. There's a three-point differential that propels Australia to probably an easy win, even though it wasn't an easy game. That is the eighth point for Todd Blanchfield. And this is the ideal pace for a 3x3 game. As Australia's knocking on the door with still four minutes and 20 seconds to go. Both of these teams have been hot. Ain't oh, nobody man. been hotter than Lou. Lou's got more tools than a daycare. In a five-point lead. It's hard for China to shoot, to shoot better than this game. And even then, Australia managed to find a way to pull in front. Point game. Gang, gang. The gang of rules. Hickey says, enough of this nonsense. Get the director's chair. It's a wrap. Australia put on a show like no other. Another runaway win for the boys from down under. They spell trouble. 21-15. And this was with a well-played.